Thank you, Lord. What is in the bath of Christ for the world? What is the bath of Christ for mankind? For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Christ came to pave the way to everlasting life, and that for the entire world, but only applicable to whosoever believes. He came to pave the way to everlasting life and that's for all mankind but applicable only to those who believe now what is in the bath of Christ for the redeemed we look at four of them from Luke chapter 2 and verse 10 to 14. Luke chapter 2 and verse 10 to 14 is part of the Christmas lesson read this morning. The Bible says, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, behold, I bring you Good tidings, good tidings, good news, back to a world of bad news. I bring you good tidings. It shall be accompanied with great joy, and it shall be to all people. Good tidings. In a world of bad news, the media world over is trained to project the bad news of the hour. When they say breaking news is to break your heart. <laughs> breaking news is to break people's heart. That's why after watching any news you find yourself what is really happening? The world, this world self. What are we really doing here? Why can't a man just die? Now, they are trained. It's not good news except it's bad news. Jesus came to restore glad tidings to a world that is battered with bad news. Somebody has three children at a time, triplet. Uh, he gave birth. Somebody child died. Have you heard? The, the world is programmed to carry bad news around. I was passing that way and I saw a building burning. Oh my God. This fire thing is safe in this country. <laughs> when they build a house, they won't talk about it. May every one of us in this service be rescued from the clutches of evil news. <laughs> Jesus came to restore glad tidings back to an evil driven news that goes around the world. May your life be a fountain of good news from now. May good news be what excites you the most. Therefore, take heed what to hear. Mark 4, 24. Take heed what to hear. What to hear either break you or builds you. Don't be a bad news carrier. Be prone to good news. That's what Jesus brought back to the world. Good news, good news, good news. 
that you got 80% already settles you for a first class. So crying for losing 20 is madness. Because what do you want in first class? Now you are in first class. You are now crying. What's the matter? I got only 80. Go and collect the remaining. <laughs> Life. Good news. Good news always. Good news ever. That shall be your portion from now. May no one here sell his own good news package in Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Proverbs 25 and verse 25. Proverbs 25 and verse 25. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. It refreshes people. Good news refreshes people. Good news refreshes people. As cold water to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. Psalm 92 and verse 1 and 2. It's a, it's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. To sing his praises to the most high God. To speak of his loving kindness in the morning. And his faithfulness every night. That should be what you are speaking of. That should be what you are speaking of. His faithfulness every night. His faithfulness every night. His goodness every morning. His loving kindness every morning. His faithfulness every night. So there's no more time left. All the time. All the time. Good news refreshes the soul, revitalizes the body. Be prone to good news from henceforth. Because Jesus, who lives in you, brought good news back to the world. So where are you carrying your bad news from? The end has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. A brought back to a joyless world, great joy. Glad tidings of great joy, which is available to all people. Great, not just joy, great joy. The Bible defines it as joy unspeakable, full of glory. Great joy, First Peter 1 8. Great joy. He said, Whom Having not seen, ye love, whom though you see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable, full of glory. Joy that cannot be described or defined, yet cannot be denied. Joy that is real, palpable, and touchable. Jesus brought back joy to a joyless world and he lives in you. Amen. He said Christ in you and me, the hope of glory. Colossians 1, 27. Christ in you, the hope of glory. So he lives in you. So our life should become fountains of joy. Fountains of joy. Fountains of joy. Fountains of joy. In Romans chapter um, 14 and verse 17. Romans 14, 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. So for everyone in the kingdom, there's that deposit of joy unspeakable in you and me. May we take responsibility to jealously guard it. Watch, there is nowhere to buy good news in the world. Jesus is the source. There is no medication for joy. You take antidepressant as it wears out, depression multiplies back. But there's a joy that we call the joy of salvation. 
when you are saved, it comes alive in you. And people around the world will think you are faking it because they can't experience it. But it's real. Somebody asked me, do you have, do you ever have challenges? I said, maybe it came, I didn't know. They call it the joy of salvation. It's an overwhelming joy. It comes from within. Just like your carbon dioxide comes out of you without any stress, no effort. Now I've been supplying carbon dioxide since the morning. No, no, no. You supply for life without knowing it. In the same vein, these virtues that Christ brought, they are now resident in you and me. So they just manifest themselves naturally as you allow them room. From today, joy unspeakable becomes your portion. You never smell depression around your life again. Somebody's been jumping up and down and he gets to the hospital and say, well, you have two more days to live. His body breaks down immediately with that information. That's what you hear matters. Those who settle with the world never lack joy. Watch. Thy words were found and I did eat them. So take responsibility. And they became the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Take responsibility to sustain the joy. Keep it active in you. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16. The psalmist said in Psalm 119 verse 162. I rejoice at thy word. I see that find it great spoil. Settle with the word. Your joy will remain active and alive. Settle with the word. Great peace of day, whose mind is set on thee, and nothing shall offend them. Great peace. Set with the word, your peace will multiply. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 2. He said, Grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. Set with it. We're talking about the joy unspeakable that Christ brought to us. But beware. The sorrow of them that hasten after another God shall be multiplied. Psalm 16 verse 4. So going after another God multiplies people's sorrow. Set to with God and you sustain your joy. You heard me say over, over, time and again. Whatever my God cannot do, let it remain undone. Whatever my God cannot give me, may I never have it. Wherever my God can take me to, may I never get there. My friend, you have to take a stand for God, not to sell off your joy for a muscle of meat. Beware of running after another God. It robs you of the joy of salvation. For the sorrow of them that hit after another, another God shall be multiplied, shall be multiplied, shall be multiplied. That is the undoing of many in our part of the world. The undoing of many. They come to church in the morning shouting hallelujah, amen. They go somewhere in the evening for them to check for them what their future is like. And they say your future is very bad. There are some women in your family your mother's side, they are chasing after you. So men in your father's side, they, they want to kill you between now and tomorrow. You went there. You are the one that went there. By his grace, I'm 53 years young in the faith. I have never tried another God once. Things have never stopped working for me. There are many in this church who don't know any other God in their life than Jesus 
and things are turning and turning in their favor over and again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every attempt of the devil to rob you of your joy is caused today. Yeah. By a prophetic alert, I share this in the first service. If you have anything, any graven image, any charm given you by any man, Get home and trash it before it trashes you. Get home and trash it before it trashes you. You can't keep the devil in your shop and expect God to intervene. No. You can't keep a demon under your pillow and expect to dream a good dream. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I've been privileged to be confronted by many enemies. He conquered them all for me. Wake up. Wake up. My Baba gave me. Good luck. Good luck. It's a major joy breaker in our part of the world. Some go after some prof professional prophet who prophesy to collect money from them because in our church they don't see vision. So we see blindness. <laughs> My God. My God. But for you, no devil makes a mismeet of your life anymore. <laughs> he came to give us joy. Thank you, Jesus. It's also important for us to know that the good will of God is extended to us from Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. The elders were saying with a loud voice, what is the lamb that was slain to receive for us? Isn't that good news? Power, riches, Wisdom, strength, honor, blessings, glory. He received all this, the Bible calls it, all things that are made for life and godliness. All things that are made for life and godliness, he has offered us in Christ. Isn't that good news? So these things become your right and my right. Without any reference to the devil and his agents. You can't stand in this covenant and be molested by the devil. The end has come to all the form, all forms of ups and downs in your life. The end has come to all forms of ups and downs in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now in verse 14 of Luke chapter 2. Looking at this offer. There was an angel and other hosts of heaven joined him, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace. Your peace is settled. Jesus is defined or called the praise of peace, not a praise. It's the original source of the peace that lasts. And he dwells in you. So you carry in you the fountain of peace that will keep you at rest in the midst of the storms. Mark 4, 38, Jesus was fast asleep on a pillow and the boat was filled with water. He was fast asleep. They awoke him and he said, oh, don't you care about He arose and rebuked the storm and the sea and it was a great calm. The peace of God that makes it look to the world around you as if you are faking it is in Christ. The Bible calls it peace that passes all 
knowledge that passes all knowledge. Philippians 4 verse 7. Peace that passes all knowledge. That makes you fearless in a fearful world. That puts you at rest in a restless world. Peace that passes all knowledge. Beginning from this Christmas and all the days of your life. The peace of God that passes all knowledge shall begin to manifest in your life. Can I hear your loudest amen? Can I hear your loudest amen? Let me hear your loudest amen. So the bath of Christ is the bath of peace to a troubled world. And you just need to know what is in peace. Then you will settle for it. One, like I mentioned, take responsibility to see the peace of God made manifest in your life. And how do we do that? I mentioned it earlier. Grace and peace multiplies by knowledge. Second Peter 1, 2. Great and peace multiplies by knowledge. Great peace of they whose mind is stayed on him and nothing shall offend them. Psalm 119 and verse 165. Nothing. Great peace. They belong to those whose mind is stayed on him. I know whom that I am believed, persuaded that all things are working together for my good. What is in peace? God fights our battles when we hold our peace. God fights our battles. And he never loses a battle. God never loses a battle. He said, the Lord shall fight for you as long as you hold your peace. Exodus 14, 14. The Lord shall fight for you as long as you hold your peace. Exodus 14, 14. You want to see God intervene on your behalf? Hold your peace. Hold your peace. You are in good hands. Hold your peace. God never fails. Hold your peace. He never loses a battle. Hold your peace. And he will fight your fight. And when God fights your fight, your victory is sure. You never record any more defeat in your life. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. You never record any more defeat in your life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now, what is enjoy? What is enjoy? Joy provides access. So the deep things of God, the deep things of God, therefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3. In Psalm 16 and verse 11, thou will show me the path of life in thy presence, which is guaranteed guaranteed by joy in their presence is joy 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 that will show me the path of life in their presence is fullness of joy you come into his presence with fullness of joy where he unveils the path of life Paul a man of unusual depth you find him say yea and I will rejoice the persecution is notwithstanding. Yea, I will rejoice. Paul said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. He said, rejoice evermore. And the secret of men are in their stories. Paul had unusual access to the deep things of God. One of his secrets is the mystery of joy and rejoicing. And my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You can't assess revelation with depression. 
You can't assess revelation with depression. You can't assess revelation with depression. It is joy and rejoicing to assess revelation. And when your light comes, you will shine. Amen. When your light comes, a little one shall become a thousand. A small one is a strong nation. That's the benefit of light. And that's accessible with joy and rejoicing as your new lifestyle. Therefore, between now and the next Christmas, joy and rejoicing shall become your new identity. Nobody will ask you again what is wrong. Your face will not look wrong. Your words will not look wrong. Your steps will not look wrong. Rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice with a shout of triumph. Amen. Amen. What's in joy? Say with me, health and vitality. One more time. One more time. Joy is a health therapy in the kingdom. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. But a broken, but a broken spirit But a broken spirit dries the bones. Joy is a covenant medicine that keeps us healthy. If you live with depression, you live under oppression. Until you are first depressed, you cannot be oppressed. Until a believer is first depressed, he cannot be oppressed. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 14. The Bible says, The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear. No one can survive a wounded spirit to keep his life healthy. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. Neither be ye sorry for yourself, for the joy of the Lord is the secret of our strength. The joy of the Lord. All through this season to next Christmas, there shall be no more breakdown in your life. No more spiritual breakdown. No more emotional breakdown. No more physical breakdown. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So it's your turn for a new beginning. It's your turn for a new beginning. It's your turn. Finally, finally, it's your turn. Finally, finally, it's your turn. May the good will of the Father come to find practical expressions in our own lives. You shall be a man and a woman to be wondered at in this coming year. Yeah. Everybody will wonder whether you are still the same person. Yeah. Your days of murmuring and complaining are finally over. Yeah. Your days of murmuring and complaining are finally over. Yeah. I saw the damage of what they call news. 1993. You watch these things, you come out of it. You are wondering, what kind of world are we living in? But you settle with the world, it's full of good news. You just find you, you know, just boisterous, ever excited. You settle with the world and you're off. You are on, ever on, ever on. Well, I might be that Old Testament person, but there are things I will never read. There are news I never listen to. News I never listen to. I saw their breaking news as breaking the heart of people. Nothing else. He said, how do you get informed? Well, ask me. Those who make news don't watch news. 
They are busy making news. They don't have time. They don't have time. They don't have time. May you be delivered from everything that breaks your joy. May you be set free from everything that tampers with your peace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, we are, you know why we are making news? Over the years. There is no year without news coming from this church. There is no year without news coming from this church. We settle with the good news. We settle with the good news. Good news is our addiction. We settle. Now, I've been here before anybody has came. There is no one day an announcement is made here to depress anybody. From the beginning, from the days of four people, six people, there was no day here an announcement is made to depress people. Then what are we really doing? We are a little challenge during the construction here. I say, pack this stuff. Let no one say sorry to anybody. Oh, we are not, we are not on that side. 18 September is a reality. Pack those things. Amen. Is the building not standing today? Don't join the devil in spreading negative news. Don't join the devil in spreading negative news. You don't need it. It doesn't change people's story. It's good news that does. Can I hear your amen? amen? It's good news that does. When my wife's head was challenged, did you ever hear me on the platform? I say, well, brethren, we have to pray for my wife. Things are tough. Never. I, I won't say it to myself, sir. Somebody said, do you ever think she died? Never. There was no space. No space. Because I live. Because he lives. Because he lives. All fears is gone. Because I know. Oh, he holds my future. Our life is worth our living just because he lives. He said, because I live, you shall live also. It's your good news today. For you and your family, it's good news. All through the coming year, there shall be no evil tidings in your home. Everything shall keep working in your favor. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks. Give him glory, give him praise. Magnify him. He has restored back to us goodwill. The causes of life are broken. Brand new day. In Jesus' precious name. Quickly this morning, you are here, you are not born again yet. That is the access to all that Christ offers. We have looked at four of those things this morning. They are not available in any market, anywhere in the world. Jesus is the only source of good news, great joy, peace that passes all knowledge, and goodwill. He is. If you will, you can make me whole. I will be thou cleansed. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 12. I wish above all things that you be in earth, that you prosper and be in earth, even as your soul prospered. 3 John and verse 3. God's good will is towards us who believe. Wherever you are this morning, you would like me to pray with you to be born again. Please stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. And remain standing, please. We'll be praying in a moment, right there where you are. Stand to your feet. We'll pray in a moment, right there where you are. Don't fake it. I know my sheep, and they know my voice. God knows those who are saved. He knows those who are not saved. Wherever you are, you want to enjoy these amazing things that Jesus offers, stand to your feet. You want to have everlasting life. Spend eternity with Christ in heaven, stand to your feet. You want to be free from the Seat of sin, stand to your feet. 
God bless you. Many more are standing up wherever you are. Stand to your feet. God bless you. Number two, there are people here that need to rededicate their lives. There's a, a disconnect between some individuals here and God. You know there's a disconnect. You've been trying other means to make up. It's not working. It's time to return back to your Heavenly Father. You want to rededicate your life to Christ today? Please stand to your feet. You want to dedicate your life to Christ today? Please stand to your feet. God bless you. Some of us are standing up wherever you are. Stand to your feet. A double-minded person is unstable in all his ways. Let that man not think he shall receive anything from God. God bless you and God bless you. Amen. All of us who are on our feet, please bow your heads for prayers. Remain standing, please. If you're standing, remain standing. Bow your heads for prayers. Lift up your right hand to heaven. And pray this simple prayer after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud, Lord Jesus. Save my soul. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again. To set me free. From the power of sin. So I can serve the living God. Right now. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And I believe my sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm restored back to the faith. I'm born again. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. May all that pray this prayer be covered with the blood of Jesus. The enemy shall not be able to locate you anymore. You will never drop out from following Christ. You follow him to the end. You will make heaven at the end of your journey. In the name of Jesus Christ.